Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today, APOS decided to host David Wood on a live stream to respond to Brother Farid, which is kind of surprising because we were told by APOS that he was going to upload the end of Farid response series. And APOS actually did upload two videos in response to Brother Farid. And these two videos backfired badly on APOS. You all remember how he was exposed for manipulating and corrupting videos. But APOS still wanted to respond to Farid. So what's the solution to this problem? To get help from the most obvious fake philosopher in history, David Wood. And to do it in a live stream because, you know, live stream are normally long. And in the case of Apos and David Wood livestream, they are full of clowns behavior, which makes it difficult for anyone to respond to those live streams. Who is going to watch a two hours live stream to respond to three and four points, which are scattered throughout the video? You'll have to look for them. This is Apos Hope. And as someone who takes pleasure in destroying Apos Hope, I will do this very exhausting work. Sorry to disappoint you, Apos. Let's start watching. The reason we are doing this live stream is uh, many of you guys uh, know that I have been wanting to respond to his entire series about me. The thing is, when I find time to do something, you know, to sit down and make videos, it's like for making a response video to Farid is the last thing that I wanted to do. I felt like if it's left up to me, I will never do this. So I thought what I should do is instead to go live with uh, David and, you know, waste his time on uh, this stuff. Okay, let's stop here. Apos here is saying that people knew that he wanted to respond to Farid. Wrong, Apos. Wrong. People know that you already completed your response to Brother Farid. Let's read what Apos wrote in a community post three months ago. I am working on a complete response to Farid. It should be ready soon because it's very easy. At this point, I want to appreciate that making a response to Muhammad Hijab was actually somewhat challenging. Blah, blah, blah. This was a community post that he made three months ago. And last month, he uploaded his first video responding to Farid. Apos here wants to deceive his gullible fanboys. He wants to tell them that he wanted to do a video response to Farid, but he found it boring. That's why he called David Wood, you know, to do a live stream and, you know, make it more interesting. That's a lie. Listen to me, Apos sheep. Because by now, Apos must be having his complete response to Farid. You need to ask yourself a question. Why doesn't he upload his full response to Farid? And the answer is very easy. Because in the first two attempts, it backfired. He tried to edit and manipulate videos and it didn't work. And it seems like the rest of his response to Farid are no difference at all. Most of them will be filled with these kind of deceptive tactics. That's why Apos, after being exposed, decided to stop publishing his video response to Farid. And that's why we have come together today to respond to two videos that were um, made by Farid response in response to my older videos. We want to go through them and want to refute them. And I think this is actually a very nice um, uh, way to do things. Just do like Apostate Prophet and David would respond. And yeah, absolutely. It's a great idea. It's a great idea to do a live stream with David Wood and to spend like, you know, 75% of the live stream making no arguments at all, just behaving like a literal clown. Now let's go and listen to the most obvious fake philosopher in history. Yeah, my, 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 my personal view is you, you ignore people, you ignore people especially people you know that you if you know you can crush someone anytime at will then you ignore them 
until they increase their popularity. You know what I mean? You you ignore them until they they increase their pro, their popularity. So Fareed's not terribly uh t- terribly popular. So if it were me, I'd probably let him get up to you know a hundred thousand. But he's got over fifty thousand. When you when you find a guy who can sort of blow up in popularity over time and you know you can sort of crush his points later on you want him to become you know you want him to you want him to become popular so that you can then go and then what it, what it ends up like is like like harvesting your crops right you got to go over to your you, you periodically like once a year go over to the muhammad hijab orchard and reap the benefits of Muhammad Hijab and all the dumb stuff he said. Then you go over to the Ali Dawa orchard and then you you uh you gather you gather together the fruits of all the dumb stuff that, that Ali Dawa said and you just keep rotating and uh, you keep rotating around. So hey if you want to toss uh, Farid up into the mix we can uh we can we can we can get a plentiful harvest here. Mashallah mashallah so David would ignores people because he knows he can crush them anytime he wants so he's waiting for them to become popular and that's why he ignored brother Farid all this time well let me make it you know clear Uh, David Wood did not ignore brother Farid all the time he did respond when he could respond for example when brother Farid made a tweet about the hate speech it was just a tweet, it wasn't a video, and yet David Wood made a video response to that simple tweet. He made a whole video responding to a tweet by Farid because he felt that he could respond to him. Also, David Wood challenged Farid to a debate about Christianity because he knew that Farid was not knowledgeable on this kind of topics. David would ignore Fred, but not because he knew he could crush him anytime he wanted. In fact, he ignored him because he knew that he would be crushed by Farid anytime he dares to respond. Also, this idea that David Wood ignores people until they become popular is nonsense. David Wood responded to a brother full metal theist. He made like three hours live stream with Sam Shaymon to respond to brother full metal theist who had 6,000 subscribers at that time. Also recently David Wood had a debate with a Muslim called the Perfect Dawa who had 400 subscribers. 400 sus- subscribers and he had a formal debate with the guy. But he won't respond to Farid, he would wait for Farid to become more popular. So to the brainless gullible fanboys of David Wood who believed him when he said that he would wait for people to get more more popular, this is nonsense. David Wood would ignore people whom he cannot respond to even if they had million subscribers. And David would respond to people he could respond to even if they had 400 subscribers. And that's all for today's video. We will continue refuting this boring live stream of these two clowns, inshallah, in the coming few days. Jazakumullah khairan for watching. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.